This episode brought to you by Raycon. Go to buyraycon.com slash rogue and get 15% off your first order. Check them out, huh? And now, let the transformation begin. Yeah! So yeah, I'm like completely allergic to sugar. What? Yeah, I don't know. How's that? I, you know, it might be because I got dumped in a vat of sugar as a kid, and they say maybe it's like the opposite of like immersion therapy. Oh. It's submersion therapy, and it wasn't therapy, it was a detriment. So. Oh gosh, I guess you should start drinking the diet cheer wine now. Oh yeah, there's no one else to drink it, huh? Oh, I know. Someone's gotta drink it. Did you hear any noises the other day? Yeah, I thought it was just me. Because I was out on the soundstage. Yeah. Uh, and it sounded like like rustling, you know? Yeah, I heard some rustling, but there was also some whispering. Barbecue tacos, barbecue tacos. I don't know, it just seems super weird. What were you hearing? I thought it sounded like somebody was playing Call of Duty. Do you think it could be? I mean, he did die recently. Yeah, man, that was a weird funeral. I, you know, I didn't like the Spider-Man dress code. Yeah. I thought that was a little uncouth. Oh. Who's ready to make an episode? Well, where's uh, where's Jason? Um, Brian, oh God. Okay, fine, I'll, you know he's dead, right? He's dead all the time, it's fine. No excuse for him to not be here. Remember, we went to the funeral? Yes, and we've been, he always comes back from the dead. Sometimes he's dead, sometimes he's not dead. Sometimes I'm the one who kills him, sometimes he kills me. Well, we've been hearing some kind of weird noises from out in the soundstage. All right, so he's haunting the soundstage. Yeah, let's go, let's go. He can go. Yeah, so anyway. So, no sugar, no yeah. sugar. Hello? Jason? Get out. Are you here, buddy? Do not dread here, mortal. This is hallowed ground. Have I contacted Jason Murphy? You risk piercing the veil. Your sanity shall be torn asunder. Ah, ah, ah. Brian. Jason, I see you. Leave me, Brian. J Jason. I have passed. No, 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 we have, we have, we have a modern rug shoot. I, I cannot, cannot work it was, today. It was, it, was, it was on the schedule. I, is that a PlayStation Pro controller? No, pay no, no attention. attention. No, it definitely looks like a PlayStation it controller. A play Bull Bull uh, it is not a PlayStation What are you, what are you, are, wait, wait, hold on, no. hold on, hold Are you, you're doing the Pepper's no, Ghost thing. No, I'm not, I'm you're not. The Come Pepper's on. Ghost. You're right here. I was on you're a right streak. You're right here. Come on, man. I was on a streak, dude. Let me try it. All right. It'll respawn in a second. It's Verdansk, so. Oh, well, you were playing as Dalsum. That was your problem. Holy cow, man, Pepper's Ghost has to be like an all-star, world-class, top 10 illusion of all time. That probably terrified people back in the late 19th century, right? Continues to terrify people today. I thought Tupac was really there at Coachella. I, I didn't know that they actually used Pepper's Ghost. I thought it was some <laughs> fancy, thought, like, hologram fancy. technology. No, no, no. I thought, man, it's Pepper's like Star Ghost. Wars, Princess Leia appearing. Nope, same thing with like a uh, Haunted Mansion, that awesome moment when all the ghosts are dancing or whatever. And in fact, that's a giant 45 degree angle piece of glass. And you're uh, often like on top of them, like where they're underneath. And so it's all just angles and lighting, really. There's nothing fancy about it. Back in the sideshow days, what they would do is they had an illusion that was called girl gorilla. And they would say like, oh, here's a girl, but she might become a gorilla. Say the words, girl, gorilla, girl, gorilla, girl, gorilla. And then all they would do is they'd flicker the lights and all of a sudden it was a gorilla. And then the big surprise was the gorilla would run out and terrorize the audience. Oh, and we should talk about the history. Just real quick, John Henry Pepper 
popularized this in like 1862. So he was doing like uh, early versions of the spook shows and stuff like that. And seeing it back then, of course, that was uh, right in the heart of the spiritualist movement, right? Oh my gosh, I assume it looked like a real ghost to people, right? <laughs> right. I mean, it looks good even when we took four of them, put them together to create what, you know, what we called a holographic iPhone. Wow, right? That looks way better than right? I anticipated. It looks amazingly creepy in real life. I love going to haunted attractions, like various spook houses around the area. And they often use that, of course, like in the Haunted Mansion, you'll walk up to the house and in the window, you'll see a disembodied head floating or but something like that. translucent, that's exactly. the thing, that's the mm -hmm. secret. Because it's not really a mirror for anyone unfamiliar, all you need is a 45 degree piece of glass, right? Where one side is well lit and the other side is dark or darker and it ends up looking like like, I, I don't know, a ghost, I guess. Yeah. Do you want to do the girl gorilla? Let's try it. Let's go magician to author. Oh, magician to author, <laughs> magician to author, magician to author. <laughs> For our setup, we happen to have a big plexiglass something or other here. You could do it with real yeah. glass. You could do it with a sheet of, I don't know, basically saran wrap. And this is something you can get at the hardware store. Yeah, yeah. And it cost us all, of, I don't know, a hundred bucks or whatever. But it's set at a 45 degree angle. You and I are almost directly behind it, but with the overhead lights, everybody can see both of us. It's only when the lights go off. In fact, let's go ahead and turn off the lights. Annalisa, turn off the lights. Hopefully, to the camera, it looks like some kind of weird blended Amalium. illusion of the two of us. But we both have lights on us. The camera's not seeing either of us. It's either seeing me through the plexiglass or your reflection. So watch what happens when this light gets totally shut off. Just me, right? And now, let the transformation begin. Yeah! Can you imagine it being like 1899, you're at a sideshow and you see oh. a girl transform into a gorilla right in front of your freaking eyes like that? Torches and pitchforks, man. Some sorcerer is gonna die that night. Transform back. <laughs> you think we could scare your kids like this? Could certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> And I can transform back! And back! Again! Yeah, I'm sure they love. <laughs> I'm sure everybody loves just opening, opening the barn doors. The, over no, okay, over. look. <laughs> Pepper's ghost, man. Dude, That's awesome. The illusion that has survived 200 years and counting. How yeah. amazing is that? Check it out. My everyday E25s. Just like Brian Brushwood, wearing them all the time. Not sleeping in them though, like he does, because that's weird. But if you want to be like Brian and you want to sleep in these, you totally can, because they are super comfortable. They have a noise isolating fit and they've got six hours of power, extra bass, and they come in a variety of colors and patterns. You can wear them for half the price of other premium earbuds. They're so affordable, so comfortable, and so slick. You can feel just like Brian Brushwood. Go to buyraycon.com slash rogue, get 15% off your first order. Oh, that's legit! I'm dumb! My name is Jason Murphy! You totally blew it! I just hit buttons randomly. I, I hit... play Blanca. Well, that is what, what I did when I played Blanca. <laughs> but it was Dalson, I'll have you know.